potential coming in from the Bangkok Titans kind of negates some of that crazy initiation that's coming in from UK and HKA. And if they are able to use the disengage well, they can burn some of the burn some of the what what you call it initiation potential yes, and maybe yes. single out a target and make it a four v five instantly. Yes, yes. And uh, just a sidetrack, I can't wait till we get the pop star Ari skin. Then I can just sit here and just not cast the whole day and stare. Yeah, I a, a little call out to Chris because he's been talking about the pop star Ari skin nonstop. So we have to find out why he's actually talking about that pop star yeah. Ari skin all the time. Yeah, that perf. Okay, so <laughs> now we're gonna see actually a gather up of five men. And here, Mitikyu. Mitikyu was a beast that day, by the way, and now he's going in. Will he go for the taunt? No, misses the taunt, but gets spotted out by the ward. This is looking very dire. Oh my goodness, they get the spawn out, and uh, a lot of vision covered. Perhaps dropping XP low, fire as well, gets hit by the exhaust, and God needs to get the damage out. A flash, and ignite goes on to fight. Not enough. A nice view of. Oh my goodness, going for the flash taunt. Getting everyone, everyone, now oh, that is just beast. And now HKA coming back from the counter attack. Getting a charm on to Quiza. He's gonna drop me low. Perhaps picks up this kill. Five from the side. Almost getting out. A double kill. Oh my goodness. Almost dancing one more time. And got getting the flash. Oh, and missing out the Pilto of Peacemaker at the last moment. Wow, this turn. This was supposed to turn very badly for you, Can Hong Kong Attitude. But the moment they stepped into Tribush, Mythic Q with the fantastic dot taunt into the end team allowing you can Hong Kong attitude to pick up three kills in the early stages of the game. He went for the five man extended flash taunt. Oh my I goodness. was I just had this great feeling go through my body. It was insane. And you know what? They won it because they had they had the you can Hong Kong attitude. Yeah, of course you can. They can they, they, they said can. they could and they did. Wow. I love these guys already. So uh, what happens though is that they sent in Trezzo to the top lane uh, to play that Gragas to go up against Engon and uh, they're also saying perhaps to go 2v1. Now that's gonna be a bit of an issue. Pasa going to the mid lane, I think it's actually very favorable for Pasa because you will she, she can farm on that tart really well with all perception. She can. She can because she got the attitude. And Mitikyu, last week we saw Mitikyu, in fact he's been going for a lot of 2v1s recently and he's always come on top of it. Yeah, he's really comfortable with the 2v1s and it just shows and I expect this game he's gonna come up very strongly. Yep. And not only that, the early kills that they managed to get allowed little sticks perhaps you know perhaps yeah, perhaps yeah to pick up that philosopher's stone and that's gonna really snowball the amount of gold income coming in for perhaps they can even go in for that early uh shredder's revelry which you know hasn't been it's not that uh obscure an item choice because it will allow vi and the whole team to just kind of do this mid lane zerg tactics wow and i and I, actu I actually like it quite a bit five showing presence in the mid lane not getting anything out of kaiser um, I expect Vi though, as Fi has normally done, to go into the bottom lane and actually stop this uh, 3v2 Which is actually kind of, kind of strange because normally we don't see uh, this 3v2 happening And the nice great on the set. Great, yeah. Waiting for the flag spear combo, not coming in, Fi from the side, gonna Single Warlock out, not the best moment to be in. Flag Spears out, and this time, look at that. They came out with actually SKLZ going real low, and Sec as well. Yeah, and Mythic Q can just easily farm out a turret using the Vorpal Blades as well as the Key Strike, and that's just gonna. Mythic Q is gonna be extremely happy if they trade in that the was bottom lane. That, that was a. Great use of uh, the Shadow Dash just to see uh, how far they can actually push that advantage. Yeah, and if Sec actually didn't use the Arcane Shift to go into the Zerri to actually close the distance, I think Mythic Q will be in a completely different All position. All going in for the flat, the taunt once again. Gets the ball for Blade Attacks now. Mid lane, Kaiser gets hit by the taunt! Oh my goodness, and the charm lands. Kiss of Death ensures. Top lane, they're getting enough damage on the turret and in Dresno. Gragas needs a bit of an AP to clear out this wave. And with perhaps with that irritating fear, Nothing's gonna stop them from harassing this turret down. Nothing at all. Oh, I mean, look at that. You can Hong Kong attitude beat um, Intrezzo in the top lane, beats Quizer in the mid lane, and dish. I I I would have to say really destroys. Destroys. Yeah. yeah. Mythic Q 
just kind of handled the situation by itself. And right. Pi wasn't even needed in that 3v1 dive. In fact, you're right. He, he's he been handling this 2v1 just perfectly the entire time by being a great... Aggressive, and you don't normally see that. Most of the time you think, okay, I'm in a 2v1, I'm gonna just sit down my turret, try to get as much CS as possible, and hopefully my 2v1 lane is actually winning out. Like, you want your, your 2 to be stronger than their, their, their 1. Yeah, yeah and if, the, if, like you said, if the 2 is stronger than their 1, it's gonna work out, but Mythic Q just brings it to a whole new level, because his 2 One is stronger than the two. Yes, that's that's the crazy part. So Shen went back, got himself Vamp Scepter and Doran Shield. Vamp Scepter because that's gonna build into a real good item. Because that's gonna build into a Blade of the Ring King. Yeah. Why? Because he has that. Long sword then. Yeah. No boots needed. Because he. <laughs> because. Edition. He mid to Q. Oh, and they go in for the taunt. Gets a whole combo on Kaiser. Forcing that flash. But the Ignite takes off. And Basa getting that kill. Basa! I was so excited. That's really good. Like, I love it. Especially if Bai can snowball Slammy earlier. Because once she gets rolling, the items allow her to build more DPS rather than just pure attacking. Perhaps dropping very low as well. Warlock gets that kill. Go in. Trezor picks that one instead. A trap, a nice descent trap here. And God, going to get that final crit with the headshot and the bonus one goal. Yeah, and look at that. The 2v2 actually going even in the top lane itself where actually I would say you can Hong Kong attitude coming in with the better fight there because it's perhaps the support against Warlock, the jungler that right. died. So I, oh, and I still was that dropping below. The ignite was there but not enough burning out that flash at the very least. gonna be okay. I realized how that one goal came out was actually that uh, nice one. Oh, Pasa coming from the chart, misses it out a bit, waiting for that last bit. And, uh, looks like Angor will take that last uh, hit. Very nicely done. And though. as I was saying earlier, whoever wins in that mid lane was. Definitely get that roam going on. It's it's so much better to get the roam going on. In fact, I'm kind of surprised that they wanted to send Kale down to the mid lane, uh, simply because the roam potential isn't that as great as Ragas. You can set up more kills way way easier. Uh, on the other hand, Ari can go bot or top um, and be more effective. You know. Yeah, and with this, I think. You can Hong Kong attitude uh, with N God in the top lane alone is just gonna single handedly take down the turret. The minion wave is definitely gonna push and take down that um, top lane turret. And you, as I said, it's gonna go down, it goes down. And we actually have N God coming back with a huge amount of gold in his pocket. And let's see what he actually picks up. He picks up the BF Sword as yeah. well as the Berserker Scream straight off. And it seems that they are probably just gonna control the map using the, ward vis the vision control. And they're just gonna send. Um, and got to just push another lead. This is insane. I mean, se seven and a half minutes, and you're looking at more than five thousand gold. That I mean, about five thousand gold. That is insane. I mean, I really, really think that HKA is off the best start they could possibly have. Yeah, because they can. They can. They believe. And they did it. Yes, they definitely did it. That's why I like what we did. Um, by the already level six has the assault and battery. Uh, Warlock. On the other hand, not get with the cataclysm. 
so five. Definitely after the red buff, gonna make some quick work of a lane. Of course, I, I don't think he'll go out on Kaiser anymore, simply because you know, it's a bit of a risky choice to dive a kill. But top lane and bottom lane look real, real juicy. And let's see what Fi does. Yeah, and I really like the lane swap that has happened at this point of time. Because the moment they took down the top lane turret, they actually sent Mystic Q up in the top lane to actually put some additional pressure onto the inner turret. Because at this point of time, he has his ultimate up. The Sand United can easily allow him to travel across the map and help out any of the lanes. And he himself is a very tanky champion. And we actually have some action in the top lane with Mythic Q barely getting away, using the Cataclysm onto Mythic Q and he is going to go down as I talk about it. So they respond to that um, lane swap by just killing Mythic Q off. Right. right then, Mythic Q didn't want to burn the ultimate to try to escape himself using it for like a close spell. Oh, getting that little charm off to Kaiser, forcing the burn the Defiant. The Divine Dimension, a bit... Too late, and now Pasa taking maybe one hit too many. No, escapes before dropping out that Tyre Aggro. Yeah. Very nicely done. A bit of an early Divine Dimension on... this part so not necessarily the best style yeah divine invention at the early levels only last two seconds so uh pasa just made the right move continued to follow in with the spirit rush and just waited for the it divine intervention to just wear off and just picks up the kill from them all right bkt as well they are gonna try to take this turret in the top lane very very useful and now swing to the dragon this is just great map control, great map awareness as well. These guys know exactly what they need to get and push the advantage they have. Yeah, look at Angard in the bottom lane. Just soloing and doing hit the own split push all, uh, by himself. And takes a, takes a few shots to the face, but still... ...able to push that wave entirely on all the way to the turret. He has that BF sword, which is definitely going to outscale the page that is uh, simply on this um, as well. I'm just going to rearrange them so we can have an easier time viewing um, how it looks like. Yeah, and look at what Fi as well as perhaps is doing. They're actually kind of, you know, safe guarding and got a lot, prevent any sort of gangs from coming in and they actually want to pull off any oh, they get like Explosive cast on to fire, forcing to burn that flash. Will the Howling Gale hit? Yes, it does. Sack the Inter gets hit out by a trap. In Trezzo gets the kill, so that wastes out Shun's ultimate. Perhaps also in a very bad spot. Not enough. Oh, hit by a trap. Not enough, though. Will not root him uh, for the duration needed. And here comes by the side. Pasa, will he come for the sweeps? He has that spirit rush up. Maybe he might not want to be too reckless in this one. Yeah, and N got still being a very brave officer indeed. I mean, he's just staying there and just duking it out with, despite that being so many members of BKT in the bottom lane itself. And Pasa going back to the mid lane, and I think he's going to take down the turret. Yes, he does. He goes in for this one uh, on that Fox Fire, but not going to do much. Uh, can yeah. still afford to push that wave uh, a lot more and that's gonna be super, super helpful. Yeah, and in that entire time, five members of BKT was actually- like, Oh my goodness, that damn it! Will- Whoa, that Sorry. was so close. I- I just was waiting for- ...for that kill before I actually said anything and N got using the 90 caliber net to actually get away from the uh, Warlock on Javan. Wow, so overall, uh, 
What was good is that Pasa managed to burn that Splash coming from that ultimate. So it's still very, very useful. Interesting coming from the side. It's going to be a 5 man though. And missing out that taunt by just that small bit. A really wasted opportunity. And God going in. You know, he's gonna try no use of the flash instead. Has to dodge this one out, but not enough. Sag picks up the kill with the two shot barrage. They get the flag kill combo automatic kill, but he dodges it with the shadow dash. Yeah. BKT not giving up at all, not allowing HK to just kill them and snowball the game to the victory. They still manage to pick up turrets, they still manage to pick up kills, and they are not giving up. It seems that they are wanting desperately to shield this uh, to actually siege this mid bit. Right, and for the side of UK and HK, they only have like a few ultimates up at the moment. Uh, mainly just Vi, I mean, it's the two sheriffs, right? It's going to be Vi and uh, Caitlyn. And I, and I must say, this is my, one of my second favorite law matches up tonight. Firstly, it was Lucian and uh, Thresh and Bolle. Which was bad and evil. This is like good guy style with uh, Caitlyn and Vi. Yeah, my favorite. And Fresno here has to farm up that lane a bit more. He is behind in terms of goal as compared to Shen. So, needs the monies to be effective. Uh, I, the confidence coming in from UK and Hong Kong Institute allowing Mythic Q to actually just, you know, go with the Blade of the Ring King. EK, he's, EK. He's, he's just gonna go in and just play AD Shen. Yeah, EK bro, like, go in for auto attacks because auto attacks too strong. Yeah, it's That's his style, that's his style right here. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised, Mitikyu has been carrying a lot of the games for HKA um, at least in the first weeks that we've watched them in the EPL. And currently, HKA is just standing at the top of the table. I don't think... They have dropped the game yet. No, not yet. This is their fourth game of the week. I mean, of the final game of this week. And if they go win this one, then it's a 4-0 four, a four, four win streak. Yeah, very strong. And... Both TPA and HK looking very, very strong. I, I actually very excited to see this because, well, it's kind of sad because it's mostly the Taiwanese Hong Kong teams which are doing really well, while the rest of the Southeast Asian teams aren't really uh, jumping up that far. But um, with that being said, it means so that the level of competition within the GPL as a whole is actually stand. spiking up, and that could be. really helpful in helping these well lower teams climb back up in terms of skill and awareness i agree and we cannot count out the rest of the teams that just was just yet. really fast that was a super fast uh, d ward coming in from them and once again super that's good re that's good uh re reaction from the guys yeah Without any oracles, just taking out the wards. Yeah, that's that's awesome stuff. Awesome place by these guys. And rotations, easy. They know that Sec is in the bottom lane. Try to at least get that. Turret. And he's finally recalling back. But this should get some decent damage onto the turret uh, from the guy. And got from the side a bit late to the party though, which could have been an issue. Yeah, but Engot actually managed to push out that mid lane and they will have the, the wave slowly building up to the turret and losing that farm will be kind of detrimental to what BKT wants to do which is to catch up to UK and Hong Kong Institute and yeah. I like what Mythic Q and Fire are doing there actually Just hiding in the brush uh, to prevent any sort of engage coming in on the side of Bangkok Titans. Yeah, it's looking really nice for them at the moment. I think they have an easy way of getting just this turret out. And got taking one hit now. Yeah, charm misses, not good enough. Just wait a bit more for this way to come in. And once it's done, it's really at one third health. Yeah. They can just siege this one out. And no, oh, going in for the flag spear combo. They catch on to have a big, big dump of damage. And Ang
got caught in just a sticky situation by going in for the disruption with the Vault Breaker. She's going to be a beast. Time for the side. Ari with the shanks on. They're going to go deep with this one. STLZ dropping extremely low. Mr. Q taking tons of damage. They get one kill for Kaiser. It's a trade two for nothing so far, and this is looking good for Bangkok Guidance. Yeah, Warlock going in again. They aren't stopping this chase because they want to pick up as many kills as possible, and Ooh. that was an amazing, amazing engage coming in because Bangkok. Titans are so happy to win that fight. They take the fight two to nothing. That was really good for them, especially for the fact that they were the ones that started it out. Warlock made a really decisive move there. They saw two of them were out of position. Fiddlestick, easy target. They went in, hit the flag spear, bam, made a play. And that's exactly what you should do when you you're playing from behind and it looks dire. Yeah. yeah, those comeback plays can definitely boost your morale. I mean, seeing that they can still kind of win team fights if HK gets a little bit too complacent and makes a mistake. So what HK needs to do if they don't want BKZ to come back and secure a clean sweep in week 2, they cannot be complacent at yeah, all. That's right, that's right. They don't want to go 3-1 to uh, BKZ at least BKZ still stay on the lower bottom. But you know, I love an un Dog story, and I'm hoping to the best for BKT. There we go, one barrel goes in, perhaps takes a ton of damage. SKLZ, will he do a miracle uh, Howling Gale? No, looks like it won't be. Fire coming in from the side, and God also did some damage done, but they will back out knowing that they had that victory in the pan uh, in the hands. Not their pants, I mean, okay, like in their pants, or like whatever. <laughs> Either or is good. <laughs> yeah, they. You can Hong Kong Antitude definitely doesn't want to Oh, Mr. Q caught in a bad position, gets a taunt out. And uh, Infezzo more than happy to pick this one up. No. Oh, Warlock says, Spear, mine, gold, give me. Yeah, it was a great exploding cast coming from Infezzo because he actually managed to knock Mr. Q back despite having the Shadow Dash. Oh, a little bit of a uh, spike there and we actually have the entire team of the Bangkok Titans milling up the mid lane and hoping to get this middle middle out of the turret. That wasn't a spike, that was just how good BKT is, they just need to clear away. Oh. Super strong. Uh. Spy coming! Coming from the side, gets a Vault Breaker, he only punches onto Warlock. Uh, not want to go for any fancy moves here. Get poked a bit by Sack and not surprisingly Sack here at the item advantage now, holding on to that Trinity Force. Now, yes, Caitlyn will have. The superior 1 to 1 damage, but in this fight, they actually are looking at a siege as more important. Yeah, the, the pokes coming in from the. Um Mystic Shots will definitely deal a lot of damage because the Mystic, mystic Shots itself will actually uh, proc the Trinity Force. Uh, yep. the, the extra damage coming from the Trinity Force. That, that's absolutely correct. So what HK needs to do is actually set up more kills. I'm surprised that Fi hasn't built up uh, more tanky. I mean, his, yeah, his CS actually is pretty bad. But with that being said, What he can do is actually try to initiate these fights a bit better and not wait for Mythic to do it. Mythic not having the best tank items as you kind of see the Blade of the Ruin King. Yeah, the Blade of the Ruin King. So a little bit of a misstep there from Mythic because they didn't, Fi didn't really manage to pick up any big tank items and Mythic chose to spend the 2800 gold on the Blade of the Ruin King. Yeah, I, I wouldn't always agree with it. He does have some items, I mean other items to back it up, but still, once your opponents start, uh, Wow, I don't know why we had to reconnect. Uh, but once your opponents start building up decent damage items, as Ezreal has already picked up, it can be a... Big, big issue. Yeah. 
and it just seems that BKT will just like to farm it out and try to catch back in the goal because they have lost more all their outer turrets and all they need to do now is actually to fight it out in their inner turrets and if they can get one of those fights out once more they may be able to just take out more objectives and slowly crawl their way back into the game right but if HQ uh, if, H if HKA can at least uh, set up a trap like you know set up some good games get the vision out they actually can do so much more here warlock thinking that he can set up the same thing he did twice but once within twice shy is they are they gonna try warlock coming in for the flags to come off catches two of them gets the vault breaker wastes out uh the cataclysm yeah but in this time while they're while bkd is trying to set up a play we we have Mystic Q in the bottom lane, split pushing split push and powers. This Two good. turrets, all the inner turrets going. Oh, they get, they get on the stack. The charm, a very nice use of the exploding cast. Some stuff happens, and looks like UK HK come up with a small victory over this one. No death, trading for two. Yeah, interesting. May be able to take down the inner, uh, sorry, the inhibitor turret here oh, in the top lane. And a top. very close shadow dash being um, arcane shifter. Way by his real. Very, very close. All these guys need to back out now. Kaiser at the side, just waiting for the opportune moment. No, he'll decide. Uh, screw it, I'm gonna get out of here. And everyone just departs and uh, disengages. Yeah, they are gonna be very happy with that. They took two turrets. Took three turrets actually, as well as the inhibitor, and they did not lose a single member. So you can Hong Kong attitude definitely happy with this fight. They pulled the goal lead to eleven point five thousand gold. This is going to be really easy for them now. Now that they have the top turret gone, they can easily set up for like maybe a Baron fight or try their best, knowing that they have uh, enough resources to go uh, head first for this. Definitely, and what's going to happen is that I said earlier, Bangkok Titans need to defend their inner turrets, and they did not manage to do that because both inner turrets are now down, and they have the inhibitor down. So what do they have to do? I mean, you can Hong Kong attitude definitely have the superior pushing power now because super minions are streaming and will be streaming into the Bangkok Titans base. Very soon. Oh, they're streaming on watch as well. Yeah, they're streaming. <laughs> so best you, streamers ever. I I I hope they have more viewers than me, because I have done. So Mr. Q coming from the side. That's a very depressing thought to end the yeah. night. By the way, yeah. Uh, they want to set up this Baron fight, and Mr. Q can do that split push Shen. That is just so irritating with the standing eye coming out in about one third left of the cooldown. That's going to be interesting because it looks like they are already showing their cards before it can be safely secured as a tactic. And I don't know, it could be a misplay card from UK and HK. They yeah. get the charm onto Warlock, not much damage, Warlock still on the offensive. Didn't take, didn't take all too much from the charm and a double Q combo. I really like what UK and Hong Kong Attitude is doing now because they definitely do not want to go for the Baron just yet. And they're just trying to bait BKT into a very susceptible position for them to flank it, to flank and actually get a kill on to them. Yep, and they showed themselves you back in mid lane. So this is the oh and got caught way out now, waiting for the right moment, burn the flash already and uh looks like that would be a free escape. While on the other hand, we're looking at Mid-Q going to the bomb lane. Yes the true shot comes in, gets a few of those minions out of the way. And Mid-Q are uh, just waiting at the back. They have no one to respond to this Mid-Q split push at this point of time because if they actually send someone down to the bot lane, I still feel that Mid-Q is far enough ahead to deal with anyone oh, that that's they That's for sure, that's for sure. Like, the item disparity is so intense. Anyone who's caught out by...
why the Hong Kong uh, attitudes. It's yeah, yeah. That, that was they the just only, died. That was the only sound effect I could make to compensate for how crazy it could be. I, I, I agree because another thing is that what happens if Bangkok Tyson actually sends someone down is that the moment you can Hong Kong and you see that there are only four members in the in the jungle itself, they are just gonna go for the engage because Mythic Q can easily join the fight or at least provide an immense health shield. Yeah, that that's and that's the big the big factor coming in as playing shit. Inside with the Bay of the Ring King is one on one dueling power. actually pretty beast against whoever comes up against him. Chances are you will not be able to kite once you've been hit by Blade. Yeah, and Warlock just camping here, checking if you can Hong Kong attitude is doing a sneaky Baron, and I think he's just going to use the uh, the Martian Justice itself. Uh, sorry, the... Jeez, what's it called? Which one? Cataclysm? No, the... Oh, the fact the, yeah, the Martian flag. Standard. Yeah, the Standard, sorry. Yeah, the Martian Standard. Oh, goodness. It's okay. So tired. This is f game four. So, in case you guys uh. don't know, we are actually streaming four games a week for GPL. Here we go. The uh, Dark Wind coming in. in and silencing SKLZ for the small moment. Nothing too big. It looking all so good right now. Yeah, and you can Hong Kong attitude just. Helping themselves to the blue golem here, I think they're gonna give the blue golem to Asa just refreshing his blue buff once more and the true shot barrage coming a little too late and Warlock what is he doing? He's all the way at the topside jungle thinking that you can hold on at the still wants to do the Baron and Mythic Q actually dueling with Tresno here. Uh, Tresno taking so much damage from Mythic Q and you can Hong Kong Attitude just pushing down the mid lane. Nothing the Bangkok Titans can do and they might just take the second inhibitor of the game. Yeah, it looks really easy for them right now. The top inhibitor should be respawning soon, but that doesn't matter. As long as they have one inhibitor down, they can always end the game on the next engage. Um, and got at the side taking one poke from that Mystic Shot. Sec, of course, trying to go in. Uh, a bit of a leg spike and things will ensure that, that charm was super long range as well. Yeah, the, that the bounce coming in from the Dark Wind and they should be sieging down this mid inhibitor. Yeah, and no one is responding to the Mystic Q push and they took out all the inhibitor turrets already. What is Bangkok Titans gonna do? This and look at the mid inhibitor solo. Just one more pot shot from and God is just gonna take that down easily. Yeah, I think this is looking really good. Every Mythic Q taking the one out. Oh my goodness, the, the baits going out of that Bolt Breaker. Oh, and Pasa pa coming in. They can sag. But of course, the Divine Infection comes in. Ka uh, Kaiser looking really low as well. Mythic Q from the side will use the play of the... The Wing King, not yet. Still waiting for the us to reconnect to the game. They hit Warlock. One, two. Mythic Q dropping low from the target hit. And 